I'm Judd Tully from Art and Auction Magazine, and we're at the Freeze Art Fair, the fifth edition of the New York version. We're talking with one of the first time presentations of Speroni Westwater and a solo exhibition of the artist Ali Banasab. Walter, great to see you. So tell, tell us something about this artist's work. And this is new, this is 2016, this yes. is called Myth, this I believe. This is Myth, yes, yeah. from 2016 by Ali Banisad, with all the signature elements uh, of his style, which include landscape, mythology, and uh, a cinematic, uh, almost, you know, if I, if, uh, perhaps I can characterize it as a cinematic and uh, sensory experience. Uh, what he oftentimes is thinking about when he's creating his work is sound, which he recollects from his childhood experiences, for instance, during the Iran-Iraq war, sounds of violence and explosion, migration. There are experiences which really defy depiction, uh, that being narrative associations. Ali, I think, uh, has mastered an ability to translate uh, certain types of sensation there's already quite a bit of museum interest in some of these works. These are all recent works. They were just finished, and uh, we're in uh, rather uh, heated and intense discussion mm. with several uh, curators from uh, American institutions. Well, we're in a somewhat unusual space here at Freeze. This is a reprise of a gallery exhibition at the Daniel Newberg Gallery, which was in Soho in 1994, and it was Maurizio Catalan's first U.S. exhibition uh, debut. And so, essentially, the components here, we have um, a chandelier and this uh, beautiful donkey. The chandelier, according to the press release, which they also have replicated outside here at a vintage desk in an IBM Selectric typewriter uh, represented the sophistication of the art world, the fanciness of the art world. And the donkey, in a sense, was not exactly a self-portrait, but the idea of the artist you know, having no luck coming up with a great idea, which I think uh, for Catalan's amazing career and uh, post-career, um, this is a great homage to a different time and also to installation art and uh, you know, living things. We're standing here with Bill Chopin from the Paris Gallery High Art. And this is a one-person installation of a young artist, Valerie Kuhn. Uh, we are already in the middle of an installation of Valerie. She really wanted to have a specific space and build something around the world. The pieces are really working with different lights. You, you have transparency, you have this fragility that you can see in the work, and she's really being with about that, about this kind of violent uh, subject. In a way, it's attractive. In another way, you have all this cabling, the pins that bring some aggressivity into the work, so you really have to deal with the work physically when you enter the space. What are the works priced at? Uh, it's 6,000 US dollars for each one. We're here at David's Werner Gallery with David Lieber, and we're in an installation of Lisa Yuskevich paintings, paintings that were made specially for Freeze for this edition. Yes, um, she's really kind of best known for her very distinctive figuration, especially the depiction of the female figure. And I think these have become almost, the, the figuration has almost receded, uh, and they have become much more complex spatially, architecturally, and just as paintings. She's looked at a lot of Italian painting. She talks a lot about uh, sort of a, a Baroque form of uh, painting called congiantismo where you're, you're essentially depicting shadows through color. So from the point of view of color, uh, these are a real breakthrough. A major museum, the Shanghai-based Long Museum, acquired um, one of yes. the yes. paintings? Um, mm -hmm. 
Yes, this one here, mm -hmm. uh, which are called Spectral. And then we placed actually all, all of the pictures with collectors local and within the United States. So it was a great day for Lisa.